This is the 2023 Acer Chromebook 315. It's a non-convertible 15.6 inch entry level Chromebook from Acer's 3 series. It's got some pretty decent specs, including 8 gig of RAM, the Pentium Silver N6000 processor, and a full HD IPS touchscreen. I've had this since the weekend, so I wanted to give you guys my initial impressions and help you understand how it may stack up against any other Chromebooks you might be comparing it to. If you follow me on X, you may have seen my post last week when I ordered this. It was as a certified refurbished Chromebook from the Acer UK outlet seller on eBay and I paid just £144, that's about $183. US So this Acer Chromebook 315 with its 15.6 inch screen sits in size in the 3 series between the Acer 314 and the 317. I've now got videos on all of the 3 series Chromebooks on the channel including some of the spin models which are the convertible ones so do take a look at those after watching this one. I've got a model here which includes the Pentium Silver N6000 processor, 8GB of RAM, 128GB of storage and a full HD IPS matte finish touchscreen, so a pretty nice spec for general use. In the video description I'll detail the exact model number and some of the other model variations you may see, including the other processor options which are available, including the Intel Celeron N5100 or the N4500, a range of storage levels as well and some with 4GB of RAM and some with 8 gig of RAM. Some have touch screens, some have non touch screens. I think the spec I have here is the one to watch for, probably the sweet spot. It's running 64 bit Chrome OS, and Chrome OS updates will last to the AUE date of June 2031 on all model options. It came in the original box, although a bit battered, the unboxing itself as usual was straightforward. Just get past any paperwork and get to the Chromebook and the 45 watt USB-C charger. And for a refurb device, once more the condition was excellent. I did check the battery stats on this one and it had just three cycles on it. Giving you a look around the device, it's a sturdy feeling full plastic build as you'd expect with Acer's entry level 3 series Chromebooks. And this one weighs in at 1.67 kg, that's about 3.67 pounds. Not too bad considering it's got a touch screen and that usually adds weight. It's actually lighter, for example, than the HP 15A Chromebook Plus model that I showed you from my video in December, and that one doesn't have a touch screen. This one is in a colour Acer called Pure Silver. Over on the US site there's a couple more options including just silver, which I think is a slightly darker shade of silver than this one, and there's also a purple option there. Taking a look around the outside of the device, it offers a nice range of connectivity. That includes dual USB-C for power, data and display out, meaning you can charge on either side of your desk. There's also dual USB-A ports and a headset jack, a micro SD card slot reader and a Kensington lock port. And if you're concerned about the lack of HDMI ports, I'll link to a video on a hub accessory that may interest you. On the bottom of the Chromebook, there are no vents for fans as it's a fanless design with the Intel Pentium Silver N6000 processor, but the speaker are there on both of the front corners. It's a shame they're not up on the keyboard deck as you would have thought there would have been enough room and having them fire sound up at you would have been far better. That said, from my brief use so far they're loud enough, albeit a bit on the tinny side. And you've also got four rubber feet and the two moulded supports in the middle of the base of the Chromebook. And you can see the long plastic cover to the hinge mechanism for the screen too. Opening the Chromebook up, it's non-convertible but the screen does go back 180 degrees as shown here. If you do want to convertible Acer Chromebook you'll need to look for spin in the name. From the outside that we've seen so far this Acer 315 is near identical in terms of its chassis and port selection to the previous generation, the CB315 3H. That was one of my first videos on the channel so do keep that in mind if you go back to watch it to compare. And for this 4H generation I guess Acer thought it was a case of if it ain't broke there's no need to fix it. With the larger size of this Acer 315 Chromebook, you do get a keyboard with a dedicated number pad. I wish the shift key on the left was a little bit bigger, but otherwise the keys have that similar feeling to the other Acer 3 series that I've shown on the channel, with a medium key travel and a firm feeling to the keyboard. I found it could quite easily be accurate on this one. The trackpad feels really nice for an entry level Chromebook too. It's the same one that you may have seen on the Acer Chromebook Spin 314 in my recent video on that. It feels solid, responds well, it's not too loose or clunky like some can be. The ocean glass branding of it still feels like it could be a bit confusing. They mean it's made of recycled ocean bound plastic rather than being a premium glass trackpad. 
The 15.6 inch screen is IPS full HD and touch in a matte finish. It's worth noting there's no pen support. It gets nice and bright too for indoor use. I'd estimate it somewhere between 250 and 300 nits. The touch response of the screen is good too, as is the general performance of the Chromebook for light gaming and general use. You kind of expect that, so with other Chromebooks I've tested with the Pentium Silver N6000, I found them nice and snappy. Although when you're pushing them a little bit too far, you can feel a bit of heat through the plastic at the bottom of the chassis if you're using it on your lap but that may be less likely with this larger 15.6 inch size and to be honest it's not a major issue finishing off on the screen the webcam is found at the top of it sadly just a 720p hd camera and there's no privacy slider that would have been nice to see on this generation Hooking the Acer Chromebook 315 up at my desk via my pluggable dock, as expected I could extend to two Full HD monitors using the Chromebook screen as a third, so a solid tick for productivity there. Acer claim up to 10 hours on the battery life, and from my brief use so far and experience of the N6000 processor in other Chromebooks, I'd say their estimate is fair if you're not pushing it. But comment below and let me know if you'd like to see an update in the full review, and if you want to check out another Chromebook in the meantime, how about this next video on screen now?